God Almighty, his glory, for another day for his children around the whole world. He is a good God. He is so merciful. Today, he has given us a break for his children around the whole world. Beloved, let us pray. Immortal everlasting Father, we give you all your glory and honor. You are a good father. You are a merciful father. Father, you have given us a breath. You are the owner of a breath. And you control life. So today, as your children are so alive and still breathing, it is only your mercy that you have done that. Glory and honor belongs to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for giving us a breath around the whole world. We thank you. We appreciate it. You are a good God. Unto you, O oh Lord, all things are possible. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Beloved, this is another day that our God Almighty has given us a word. And the title of the message is A Great Commission. Beloved in Christ, it's a promise. Jesus Christ is the promise, the Messiah. And it was difficult for the nation of Israel to accept it and to swallow it as they heard about the promise of the Messiah. The nation of Israel thought and remembered the promise of the Messiah that was to come as a political or military ruler who was to destroy their enemies. But beloved, there are two kingdoms. The kingdom of Almighty Jehovah and the kingdom of Satan and his demons. And the kingdom of Satan, nothing good is there. It is to destroy our soul. So, beloved, let us go to the scripture. Our first reading is taken from Matthew 28. And the verse is 18 to 20. Let us hear the word of God. Jesus and Jesus came to spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. 19. Go therefore and make disciple for all the nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. 20. Teach them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. This is the word by our Lord Jesus Christ. Beloved, Jesus Christ came to establish the kingdom for every human being and to save us from our sins and also his kingdom to be in people's hearts. When you accept our Lord Jesus Christ, he will come and live with you in your heart. Some people don't understand 
this concept as it is easier for them to reject our Lord Jesus Christ. Why? They don't know him. As they have, they have to change their mindset so that they can accept him as their personal savior. Our Lord Jesus Christ has given us our own free will. So it is a choice to choose and to accept our Lord Jesus Christ and serve him as your master. Hallelujah. Beloved, that we read, he was telling his disciple. So the scripture we read, Jesus, his disciple, were asking the Lord God Almighty how to teach them about his kingdom in prayer. His kingdom must be established in their heart. Same thing like you and I. The kingdom of God has to be established in our hearts. Hallelujah. We continue with Matthew 6, 33. Let us hear the word of God. This is by our Lord Jesus Christ, the owner of life. Hallelujah. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Hallelujah. Beloved, this passage that every child of God knows and loves because the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ, everything is in there. Christ must be the center of our lives. We must accept him as our personal savior. We must surrender unto him in fullness. We must live a holy and righteous life. And the Holy Spirit will come and dwell in our hearts. It is a fellowship with the Holy Spirit. That is our helper and our friend. The Holy Spirit will teach us the word of God as he is the greatest teacher. And he will let us to understand the holy words of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit will let us, you and I, to bear his fruit of love, joy, peace, long-suffering, greatness, goodness, gentleness, faith, meekness, temp temperaments. All these are in God's kingdom. Hallelujah. I want to sing a song to glorify our Lord Jesus Christ. He is able, he is able to deliver. He is able, he is able to deliver. Mamazaya, he is able. To deliver, Hallelujah, Memezaya, He is able, oh, to deliver, He is able, He is able to deliver, Hallelujah, He is able, He is able 
to deliver me me zaya is able to deliver me me zaya is able oh to deliver hallelujah beloved it is a privilege to be in God's kingdom, that is everlasting glory for you and I, for our souls. God's message have come to you and I to prepare and to live holy and righteous life. Beloved, it is a choice to be in God's kingdom or satanic kingdom. It is a blessing for our soul to be with the Lord and his kingdom that is everlasting to everlasting. We thank the Lord for giving us his message today. May his name be praised and adored. Oh, mighty Jehovah. Lord God Almighty, I pray that you will bless and protect your end time servant, Prophet Kanew and his family. Mighty Jehovah, I pray for his viewers that listen to him that they will be blessed and protected. Also, may their heart desire be met in your mighty Jesus Christ's name. Amen.